preach the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Can we just begin to appreciate God? Church, we should remember that this is a new week, brand new week. It's not a seed, you know, um, that we walked to be, I mean, to be alive today is the will of God. Can we just begin to thank Him? Can we appreciate Him? Oh, Shika Bukuri Makasha Matayo. Ibado Shambu Rodoya. Bukuri Makasha. Rikatu Shambu Rodoya. Kiria Makuya Makuska Makari Baba. Rababo Bubu Shambu Rodoya. Bukuru Makusha Matayo. Mighty God, Mighty God. Oh, be thou exalted. Be thou magnified. Rabu Shikata. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate it. We are alive today because He has kept us alive. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my God. There is none like God to you. None can be compared with you. We Baba Baba. Rabba Baba. Lord, thank you for a wonderful, another wonderful, beautiful day. The Bible says, which one is easier to say? That your sins are forgiven or that you are here. Lord, it means we wouldn't have seen today if you had not forgiven us. Lord, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your wisdom. We Hey, thank you for your enablement. Thank you for the Holy Spirit of the living God. Be thou exalted and be thou magnified in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Are you blessed? Yes. You may be seated. Put your hands together for yourself. You know we have been this month is our month to focus on Christ to help others, right? It's our month to focus on Christ to help others. And I told you that for God to have said that there's a plan for God. God is kind of sending your help. But when he asks you to do it first, it means you're going to receive a harvest. And to God be all the glory, there are help you cannot give to another without praying, praying and fasting. I'm sure my wife dealt on that on Wednesday. You can't. There are things, there are people you can't have. Without praying, without fasting. Now there are people you cannot have without holiness. Does that make sense? You want to help them. You want to see that they are, you know, their life is a testimony. Maya ba abulada ya ba you want to change their stories. Do you have people like that? There are people who see, maybe your brother, your sister. By his special grace, I've told Jimmy. On the, is it? 13th or 14th? 14th of December. Jimmy will be ordained a pastor. Put your hands. You saw me something excited. It's not left for him to call witnesses. Because the more witness he gets, the more he trapped himself not to lose his call. I'm telling you the truth. The more witness he gets, 
the more he secures his destiny. It's like when you have been baptized, you move around, tell people, thank God for that wisdom. It helped us. So all those girls I was doing, oh big boy, <laughs> when I move around the street, I say they are going to baptize me. I was just telling them, bye, bye. <laughs> all those people, you know, all those songs. <laughs> are you getting it? <laughs> So this is a day, and I have advised him. I keep records. I don't. I keep records. It's one of my lifestyle. I keep. You can If I say something, I back it up. The same thing when I preach. When I teach the Bible, I also back it up. I don't just preach. And if I don't have the evidence in the Word of God. It's no, it doesn't make I don't, I don't need to because I must get a backup to get it achieved. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amanda, you said, church. So if Jimmy, why are we doing all these things? He's sanctifying himself. Sacrificing his life for his members. If he don't want to do it, you want to just be a ceremonial pastor? You just want to be like Australian pastor? Are you a pastor? I'm a pastor by title without entitlement. No show. No sign. No power of God. Form of godliness without. I used to tell you when my wife and I came to Australia, when we come to meet in Tango for the Africans, I said, please, we want the pastor, we want to respect the pastors. Can everybody, every pastor, stand up? More than 20, we stand up when we came. But after a few months, a few years, and they started wearing their life into my life, they don't see me when they are drinking, wah, 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 in the DJ party, you know? When they are drinking beer, I say, we that are born again, I say, shut up. So when there is the call for pastor, I told me this is not life. God knows. I had one day that time. I had another guy. When we call pastors, please stand up. They will not stand up. It's only my boys that will stand up. Me and my boys. <laughs> Why? I decided to sanctify myself because I came to Australia as the word of God. As a Jesus is the word of God. As a word of God said to Australia, and God forbid that I will be empowered, that I will have such grace, you will not see it in my family, you will not see it in my relationship, you will not see it in my ministry. So, the word of God given to Jimmy will be by the lay hands of the presbyter. And I'm choosing the person to lay, I mean to come and join me to then the pastor. I'm choosing, I don't want uh, church politics grace. I don't want breakaway grace. I want you know people that when they serve, because our bishop and Tosa that will be coming is somebody that labor. And did not miss his blessing. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm teaching this morning. I want you to know that you are a word of God sent to your generation. You are a life given spirit. Talking about helping others, that's whom you are. And may I be quick to repeat this again? The worst thing a Christian can do. To stop his blessing is to tell God that he has come. I repeat, the worst thing a Christian can do to stop his blessing is to try to convince God that he has come. And you know, when you say, God, God, <laughs> this problem is uncurable. This problem cannot go. This problem cannot do what? Go and listen. You'll be listening. I really? How many problems? 20, 50 
one problem. Sixty problem. Really? Hundred problem. You only you. You know what God will do. Jesus, where are you? Come here. Come here, Jesus. Come here, Jesus. Come here, Jesus. What do you go to the earth with Jesus? This is what God will do to Jesus. <laughs> what did you what did you go to the earth to do? Did I hear you on the cross say it is finished? <laughs> Here in the word of the Lord, 
You are not living here without your package. Mm -hmm. Your package is already, it bears your name. And the angel is waiting. As you are going, they are mocking it up. As you are going, they are tying it up. As you are going, they are putting it in bad in your life. In your testimony. Your life will never remain the same. You shall never be on the matter again. Because the God that has called help from heaven has built you to help others this month. In the name of Jesus. So tell you the right thing. Why is it that in the same place where you are doing helping others, people are complaining? Because you are different. Are you getting it? You are the one of God said. And when you preach this kind of message in Australia, where they use human wisdom and not spirit, uh, depending on the Holy Ghost to explain it. They will say it's controversial. You think you can't be the one of, the word of God. I, I am the word of God. I'm not the word of God. Each one of us, the word of God, brought together, makes up the body of Christ. But Jesus is the head. Does that make sense? That's why he is there. There's no competition. Now, from the time of Adam to the time of John the Baptist, life depended on the blood. You have to understand this. I have so much exercise on this. And that's when sicknesses, we are catching people. <laughs> so anyone that is still getting sick, He's still living in the Old Testament. He needs to move into the New Testament. Do you know why? What's the difference? The difference is people were living by their righteousness. They got what they needed to their righteousness. Their strength, their power, their life depended on the blood. That was why everything, the blood, the blood, sacrifice of the blood, this, that, that. But when Jesus came, he said the war, there's no one better than John the Baptist those days. But now, even John the Baptist cannot come near to the least in this new era. And he said, First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 45. He said, the first Adam was a living soul. He depended on blood. But the second Adam is what? Life given spirit. Help her. He didn't say it's a spirit. If he has said it's a spirit, he limited us. It's a life given spirit. Is that not English? Is it Igbo language? Is that not English? What does that mean? Life giving. Life giving. What does that mean? You are already full of life from the sole of your feet. To the crown of your head, life overflowing out of your belly shall flow. Rivers of living water. Yet you are not helping your family. Yet you are not helping your mother. Yet you are not helping your father. Yet you are not helping your community. Yet people. That's why you go to hell. If you don't share your talent. Jesus will say, upon all the grace. The Bible said the same measure of grace that was upon Jesus. Imagine if John Commission has not been here. No, God will. If it was my foolishness that made him not to be here, God will. He has 7,000. But imagine if John Commission was not here. You guys are very relevant to your areas, making well, bringing out potentials in you, knocking it, you know, just like, uh, uh, you know, the, in Africa, you know, we have like palm kernel, we crush it. You are just crushing your potentials. So I have this gift. Hey, I did not. <laughs> you know? Why? Somebody, a word of God sent to Australia, came in the person of. Do you want to see how he came? Go, 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 go. Go to John. John 1. Just one more. 
You know, we learn by saturation. Human beings, you, you keep on telling them until they are tired of hearing one thing, they are not telling them anything. That is why you don't just preach. You keep on hammering it. Yes. What did you say? John 1, verse uh, 11. Let's start from verse 11. To find out why people like us got it. We are not qualified. But God qualified us. Yes. He came to, he he came to his own. His own. Yes. And his own received him not. The soul said no. But as many as received. But any other person, any Gentile, like me, like you did that, if you receive him, what happens? To them gave he power. He gave power. To become the sons of God. Now listen to how they were given back to continue. Even to them that believed on his name. Even to those that believe in his name. Which were born not of blood. Now listen. No, you see now. Are you getting it? This, are, this is how all my children are born. They are not born by the blood of Edika and Messi. They are not born because me and Messi not born and wife. No. Look at how they are born. Read, continue. No, the, the will of the flesh. No, the will of the flesh. When we decided, that was why when we said, God, we want one more. God gave us two. <laughs> we said, who are you? I got the, I got the signal. I, took, I didn't tell my wife. I didn't tell my wife. I got the signal. I said, what, what, what? It was a match. Strongly. So, you know, the Bible is so true. I didn't tell my wife, so I wanted to sneak in, you know. Until my wife found out something, this man, what is this man doing? <laughs> I said, 